we're going to work on how to pass from here. Okay. Let's just use the same principle, head on head, his feet loaded, and then uh, by the end, uh, maybe by the last repetition, I'll, I'll show you the setup. This is what I want. I want both of my arms onto one side of his neck. Either it was this side or this side. It's like you're gonna hit him with the elbow. Elbows are not allowed for the, the sports part of Jiu Jitsu. But just to show what's happening, I'm gonna have my elbow placed here. The other arm can be supported, can be taking the grip under hook, or maybe he might be having a grip on you, the overhook thing. You just hit. This is the key for the weight distribution. I'm gonna have my knees removed from the mat. I'm gonna keep going forward, head on head. This is where I'm gonna drop my left pocket onto his shoulder or his ear. I can use my right arm if needed. This one works well because he can't reset with taking his head away from him. That's why this structure is important. If I don't have this structure, he can move his head and then we are squared off, we are back into close guard but in a different axis. I was looking here, now I'm looking here. So this post is very important wherein he can't crunch it. One setup, overhook. I'll not remove my right arm. I was niche. Passing all of this, and he happened to take me to close guard. Answer is here. Start from regular close guard, or do some resisting. Start from overhook. Do not remove your arm, don't waste your energy in removing your grip. Rather, lean more forward, or do that name, same knee shield pass. They happen to recover close guard, threatening you with the back take, go for Only thing you have to be careful about is elbow hitting the face. No injuries, please. Pressure is good, tap is good. What Akshansh did to my angel is not acceptable. Akshansh. <laughs> Let's go.